Well, it's Saturday, which means it's uh, finish off the housekeeping for for, the, for another weekday. But I just wanted to do a little quick thing here uh, before I start washing floors. Uh, washing floors in a wheelchair is always fun because you got to get into some little corners and areas. Anyway, just just a quick. I'm still a little miffed uh, over the the whole issue with this uh, young fellow uh, the 11 year old committed suicide and uh, you know a lot of that has to do with attitudes I wrote a little thing in my blog the other day on beliefs and the development of beliefs having uh, as I said grown up since age three with my disability um, I recognize a lot of the uh, uh, attitudes out there in the community and I've seen them for a long time uh, I'm going to do a, a longer little vlog later on, but uh, right now I just wanted to do a, a quick thing, get it off my chest. I guess it's it's going to be difficult to, uh, and has been, uh, to change attitudes to any great degree when we have politicians uh, like I have in my writing. Don't get me wrong, everything I've heard about uh, Kent Har has been relatively positive. He's a, a gentleman, he's a quadriplegic. Uh, I don't know how long he's been in his wheelchair. I have tried to contact him a, a few times, but I always get a, uh, a polite, thank you for getting in touch with us, uh, we'll see what we can do type response from one of his aides. Uh, I do see him around the community uh, you know, in his chair. I'm in my chair. Uh, one of the issues I've raised with them was grates on the sidewalk. 80% uh, of them run, you know, the right way, this way. The other 20% run this way, which is just wonderful for getting the the, the front wheels of your wheelchair stuck in them. Uh, so, and I just, uh, okay, I'll raise this. Uh, what I keep hearing is Mr. Hare does not like to deal with disability issues because he doesn't want to play that card. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't see standing up for disability issues, even if you're in a wheelchair, as playing that card. Disability rights is not a game, Mr. Hare. It's not uh, something where we're going to deal it out and see who has the best poker hand. Uh, talking about a disability issue has nothing to do with the fact that you're in a wheelchair. It has to do with the fact that you've had constituents ask you questions about it. So here's my question to you. When are you going to get past the point that, yeah, you're relatively new to the world of disability, but because you raise a disability issue, it's not playing the disability card. It's speaking up for constituents. As I said earlier in, in a previous post, when I went to vote in the race for the fit in the, in the municipal election last year the school i went to which is an old school right downtown here uh the they put a polling booth up at the top of the stairs outside of the pole outside of the polling station because it wasn't accessible this is a high school if the gym isn't accessible for voters how accessible is the school for kids in wheelchairs i would suggest it's not and mr hare when i raise an issue like that i'm not playing a card game i'm not expecting you to tell me oh i don't want to play the disability card because it's not a fucking game you got it Thank you, Mr. Hare. Now, please try and do something about it. Sorry for the abusive language, folks. Just one man's opinion. Sometimes I get a little hot. Now I'm going to go wash some floors. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.